Ivan Arias, transfer from Vanderbilt. So he was excited to get the win. First pitch of the game is a little bit low for ball one. We're underway. Taking all the way in a four pitch walk. That is very strange. Really unusual. For Josh Hartle. Doing better this year, only five strikeouts and 16 at bats. So he's got it down to 33. That's right back to Hartle. Another chance for a double play. This time the Demon Deacons turn it. The leadoff walk comes to nothing. And the Deacons just kind of waiting for him to get going. That's hit well, <laughs> and that's going to find a gap. Kurtz around first. He's going to try for two, and he's going to make it with a head first slide. Well, that's a good start for Nick Kurtz. Two well, balls, two it works strikes, for him. two outs. <laughs> Swung and missed a changeup. And the Demon Deacons are retired. Three hits and 14 at-bats. Of his three hits, he's got a double and a triple. He gets hit with that pitch. No home runs, three RBI. Swins lifted into short left. Our, that's going to drop in and be a base hit. So the Flyers have something going here in the second. Once again, a payoff pitch. That's outside for ball four, and the bases are loaded with nobody out. The one, two. Slow roller back to Hartle. He'll go home for the out. There's a fielder's choice, and he's got a hit in every one. And he looks at strike three on the inside edge. Big pitch by Josh Hartle. So in your spare time this year, why don't you track that? Slowly towards third. Tellier's got it. Throw to first, and Josh Hartle pitches out of a jam. Bases loaded, no one out, and Dayton fails to score. There's ball four. Reinish gets on base as he is accustomed to doing via the walk. First two weeks of the season. Checked his swing there, didn't mean to. He's gonna ground out to first, but does the job of getting Reinish into scoring position. That's hit well into right center. That's gonna get down. Reinish is around third. He's gonna head to the plate where he will make it standing. Throws cut off and an RBI single by Austin Hawk. 92-ish, probably more so. So called strike three on the inside edge. That retires the Demon Deacons. Very good bat-to-ball skills. Someone they expected to have an immediate impact, and he has as he singles through the left side. So Arias has been on base twice. There he goes. Pitches a breaking ball for outside. Throw is into center field, and Padano's, or I'm sorry, Arias is going to try for third, and he's going to make it. Everybody but Kurtz. And that's Chopper is going to be fielded by King. Tough play at first, and it's not in time. It's an RBI single. And we're tied at one. The pitch clock, when you get down to a couple of seconds, Padano bluffs, does not go, and Yaman strikes out swinging. 15 seconds before throwing a pitch. There goes the runner. Pitch is low. Throw down is not in time. In the inning for Dayton. And Padano's going for third, and he's going to make it. And a one-two pitch to Watson. Struck him out. So back-to-back -back strikeouts for Hartle. Now the infield can move back. They've all been sort of high impacting. This one skied towards third. Tellier makes the catch, and that retires the Flyers. Home uniform. Ball hit hard down the right field line. That could be trouble. It is gone. It just climbed over the 300-foot sign, just over the wall and right. And it's a solo home run for Adam Tellier. His and second it, home run of the year. It the, doesn't get much more pro humanitate than that. That's exactly, that was a line drive. I mean, I, I'm surprised, I'm not sure that ball was as high as the wall for as long <laughs> as it was in the air. And then the road, and then the next row of trees. Called strike three on the inside edge, and Kurtz hit on the ground. That is fair and down the line. King, big turnaround first. He's going to head to second, and he's going to make it with a head first dive that I don't know that he needed. Easy single and a run and an RBI. Checked his swing out in front of the plate. Pagaro on it, flips to first in time for the out. And you're basically throwing into the runner at that point. Lifted, pretty well hit other way. Reinish back to the wall, and it's a solo home run for Alejandro Cazorla. And we are tied at two. 
third home run of the year for Corsola. Well, you talked last time up about the power that he's got, and he just put a solid swing on that ball, and and uh, his line drive had enough to get over the bushes on the other side of the fence. That's his third home run in the last three games. He homered on Sunday against Lindenwood. He homered on Tuesday against Vanderbilt. Wake Forest in the bottom of the third, Dayton in the top of the fourth. And curve ball didn't break and hit him in the back. A Hartle got him. Arias doesn't run to first. That'll complete the strikeout. 3-2 pitch. That beats the shift into left center. Ballestero takes a big turn. He's going to give it a shot. Throw to second is going to be late. And Ballestero turns a single into a double. Two balls and no strikes on Austin Hawk. And then he hit him. So now he's got two on and nobody out. Three balls and one strike on Morales. First and second, nobody out. Hit pretty well to center. Padano's got room. He's going to make the catch. Ballestero tags, and he's going to get to third. Last weekend. On the ground, off of Hat Trip. He's going to throw to the plate, and he's safe. Ballestero beat the wrap. Two strike pitch. Line to right, base hit. Hawk to third. He's going to give it a shot. Here's the throw to the plate. It's late. And it's 4-2 to two, Wake Forest RBI single by Merrick Houston. Lifted, shallow right. In comes Tomaney. It drops in. A run is scores, and it's going to be a double for Tellier. Adam Tellier just keeps impressing. He's playing a great third base. And now he comes, yeah. King comes out and says, put him on first base. Called strike three, and a big strikeout for Bard. This one's pretty well hit to right center, and the ballpark is not going to hold it. A grand slam for Jake Reinish. You were one inning late. I didn't say he was going to do it last inning. I just said he was going to do something big. I meant on the day. <laughs> Crushed it. Killed it. And no Killed doubt it. to right center, Jake Reinish. First home run of the season, RBIs three, four, five, and six. And a seven run fourth. Change up struck him out. Ballestero gets the tag. You can, they're mostly power guys, but his defense is going to save runs. Talk about it more next inning because this one has come to a close as Tellier throws out Watson first round pick obviously in a he's a big home run guy you like that runner at first there he goes pitches to the backstop if Hawk had seen it he might not have dove head first camp one of three Deeks that are in big league camp this spring from last year's team there's another one that gets to the backstop Hawk kind of trying to deke I'm not sure what Hawk was doing Hawk there. thought the ball might have hit him oh big gap in right center runner going they throw down and they got him. That goes as a caught stealing. First to second is tough because you got to get it around the runner. And it hurts now because that's an RBI single. And instead of first and second, one out, you got a runner at first and yeah, two but out. But it was bang, bang at second base on a perfectly executed defensive play. One ball and two strikes on Tellier. That's hit hard to left center. And it's off the wall. Padano took a big spill. We'll check to see if he's okay. This might be an inside the park home run. Here's your play at the plate. Safe. Inside the park home run by Tellier. Padano is up in center. They have challenged the play at the plate. Again, throws there. The question is, is there a tag? And if there's a tag, it looks like it's on his bottom. If it stands, it's an inside the park two-run homer, his second home run of the day. And the decision is safe. Inside the park two-run homer for Adam Tellier. Got him. It's an easy one, two, three inning. He's at 91 pitches. 
We'll see if he comes out for the seventh. The big inning for Wake Forest. This one's hit pretty well to center. Zachary Scott, newly into the game, goes back, can't come up with it. is gonna pull into second with what is probably a double. Ballestero was credited with a double. And Hawk is retired to end the inning. He's playing a team you may have heard of, Duke Ooh. or something like that. Um, as McDougal goes down looking for the second time today. Payoff pitch due Ivan Arias. Lost him. 387. As Scott skies it to left and Nelson makes the catch and the Flyers are retired in the seventh. He's 0 for 1. This one hits sharply to third. That's off the glove of Doby. Wene's going to try for second. And he is safe. So it's a leadoff double for Jack Wene. <laughs> On the map, so to speak, as Tellier is hit by the pitch. And Tom Walter said, as this one's chopped up the line, this is going to be a tough play at first. He is safe at first. Further is the championship series yeah, on the ground, the, the shortstop to second to end the inning, and the Deacons leave the bases loaded in the seventh. Breaking ball hit hard into left. That's going to get down for a base hit. That is the first Dayton hit since the home run by Kazarla in the fourth inning. And Tomaney goes down swinging for five on the season. That will not change as he draws a walk. This one's hit pretty well to left. The ballpark is not going to hold it. Jack Wynne, a two-run homer. So his last two at-bats, a double and a home run. Not in the starting lineup but gets into pinch hit and takes advantage of his opportunity to pad the resume. My guess is he'll be in the starting lineup tomorrow. <laughs> I don't want to make assumptions for Coach Walter, but I've got a feeling. Well, that's how. If he finishes this three quality innings, and it looks like he's going to, is that's the third, and that's the ball game. So Wake Forest takes game one of this three-game series 14-2 over Dayton.